hello there. As Jimi Hendrix once said, purple haze blows my mind. Personally, I'm one of those people who believe there's no such thing as too much haze, only not enough key light. But I have been wrong many, many, many times before. As this is clearly a personal taste, MA3 lets you have it your way, as always. Now, let you blow your own mind with the advanced 3D render quality settings in the MA3D window. To access these settings, we need to open up the pool called Render Qualities. In the Render Quality pool, you can edit the Render Quality objects. Just use the swipe or edit to modify an object or create a new one. The first tab, called Main Settings, displays all the settings we already know from the 3D window. Some new functionalities have been added, including Multi-LED Beam mode. This defines how multi-emitter fixtures render the light beam. The options are Separated Beams, renders the beam for each emitter, Single Beam, Mean Color, renders a single beam using the mean color, Single Beam, Dynamic Gobo, takes the output of the emitters and creates a virtual dynamic gobo, which is rendered as a single beam. We can also now define the body quality. The options available are None, no fixture body is visualized. Box, the whole fixture's body is visualized as a single box. Low, every geometry of a fixture is visualized as a box. Simple, fixtures are visualized with default meshes from Granime 3. Standard, fixtures with a vertex count above 1200 are visualized in simple quality mode. High, fixtures with a vertex count above 10,000 are visualized in standard quality mode. And Ultra where fixtures are visualized with their original meshes regardless of vertex count. There's also the dilution type. This defines the attenuation intensity of the beam and the spot relative to the distance. The options are none. The beam and spot keep their brightness over distance. Linear corresponds to linear attenuation of intensity over distance. Correct, more realistic attenuation. The import button allows you to import settings from exported render quality objects. The second tab covers the haze settings. The haze exists inside the volume space, which is defined by the location of the patches and non-environmental devices positioned in the stage space. If this volume space is too large, haze rendering is disabled. The haze has the following settings. Enable. This toggles haze rendering on or off. Limitations might internally disable haze rendering, but this setting defines whether rendering is desired. Particle quality defines how accurately the haze clouds are rendered. The higher the value, the better the quality. The particle size defines the size of the haze particle. A low value makes the haze appear more like light clouds, while a higher value makes it more dense. Haze scale changes the resolution of the haze texture. The higher the number, the more detailed the texture, but more resources are required for rendering. Layers defines how many layers of haze are used in depth. The higher the value, the more spatial the haze looks. Blend defines how well the haze is blended into the air. Lower values blend the haze more evenly, while higher values make it appear more realistic. The animation speed sets the speed at which the haze moves around. Think of it as wind. Keep in mind though that haze won't be animated in 3D viewer unless the priority mode is enabled. Now, let's get hazy. Happy programming!